In studio, I'm joined by Erica Orfino, York student, writer, and director of the film Phantom, which is currently in second place out of 75 films at the Cineplex Cinecoop competition, an initiative which, which seeks to raise $1 million to fund one of the films. Thank you, Erica, for taking the time to speak with me today. Thank you, Amanda. Yeah, no problem. So tell me about the Cinecoop competition. How does it work? So it is a genre competition where um, it spans all of Canada and basically Cinecou, Cineplex, um, they accept applications or not applications but submissions rather of feature film trailers. So it's more like a proof of concept for the feature film. Um, Assuming that you have not filmed anything else from the feature film and uh, assuming that you have uh, never directed or produced a feature film. So it's basically for like emerging filmmakers within Canada. And the um, so what they do is they accept, uh, um, you have a submission fee, they accept your trailer uh, along with your, um, you have to choose three members that will represent your film. So it's usually the writer and or director, maybe the cinematographer, the editor, um, or a producer. And then those three, um, those three members become kind of like the representatives of that film. And then all the films that get submitted go through various rounds so uh, of voting. So it's kind of like a social media slash, um, it's very like marketing heavy. Uh, there are um, Cineku producers who uh, rate the film your- themselves and kind of, um, they'll be reading the scripts, like the feature film scripts, but it's mostly about uh, audience feedback. Mm-hmm. So their motto is like, they want to give the audience what they want. So um, in the end, the film that wins the, the prize of up to a million dollars in funding will have been the film that has received the best audience reception throughout the entire process. Um, so right now we're in the second round, I believe. We're going, so right now, um, we're in the top 60 and the top 30 will be decided within the next week. Mm-hmm. Um, and what happens is audience uh, members go onto the site, they sign up and then they rate your trailer and they vote uh, for your project. And then you move on to the next round. So you're the writer and director of Phantom, which is currently in second place. What is your film about? I think we might be in first place right now. Oh, really? Because it, it fluctuates, right? Because it's based on how many people have been rating the film or voting for it or sharing the content so we can actually go on the site and track it day to day and we'll be in first place for a while and then we might drop to second but i think we've been in first place for like a few days or a week now so that's good but um but yeah so the film is a it's a psychological horror film that takes place in um a city in quebec it's called vajalbert and it's actually a ghost town now it's 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 definitely based off that kind of vibe of like um like countryside Quebec um and so for that reason the film is bilingual um all our content so far has been in English but once we film once we're actually making the feature um it's going to be English and French mm-hmm. um the film is about a young woman named Ariane who is part of this very superstitious very paranoid family within this very um again superstitious village so it's like a kind of like a gated community um where everyone is um i guess obsessed with the idea of the supernatural uh ruling their lives and they kind of attribute everything that happens to them to something that's out of their control so they all believe that they're haunted by their own ghosts and the movie kind of plays with the idea of whether or not that's true and so you're perspective of everyone and everything that happens in the film kind of changes as Ariane is brought on this journey um so she starts off as a non-believer and then she starts to question that as things start to go wrong um mm-hmm. in her life and in her family's lives so what happens with Ariane is that she starts to become haunted by something and she's not really sure what it is mm-hmm. and she's having a hard time trusting people um they start to do kind of questionable things and Um, The audience is constantly um, within her subjectivity, so you're seeing everything as she's seeing it, but that starts to part halfway through the film as you start to question her own subjectivity because her yeah mental state is kind of deteriorating as things happen. Oh, Mm -hmm. I see. That's really interesting. (laughs) I always love psychological movies. Yeah, me too. (laughs) What was the inspiration behind the film? Yeah, that's 
a tough question because uh so i've always loved horror i used to read it a lot as a kid i i i love watching horror films good and bad horror films <laughs> um but the actual the story for the film i can't quite put my finger on how it came to be it started off as something a lot smaller it actually started off as a short film idea um that just felt like there was too much that i wanted to say with the short and i realized that i could spin so many different stories and perspectives out of it so one thing i really like about the feature is that there is a protagonist and it's Ariane but we also follow two other characters um on their own journeys so there's her father and her mother and um there's also uh so yeah so we're also getting their perspective on what's happening in their lives uh there are basically three plot lines going out throughout the whole film mm-hmm. and they all resolve um together in the end but um yeah it, it, i don't really know what the inspiration was for this story uh i kind of feel like it was one of the easiest screenplays i've not nothing's ever easy but it was the most fun that i've had writing a script in a really long time mm-hmm. so i feel like the story kind of was like always there or something and i like couldn't wait to write it so that's usually i guess like a sign that the inspiration can't be pinpointed on something but it's more just accumulation or an accumulation of different ideas that i've had over the years that kind of came together in this one thing i i know how that feels especially for myself because i've done creative writing as a hobby for a long time so cool. i understand how it feels like when you just have an idea and you're just itching to write it down and just get all that information out there yeah so i definitely understand that's really interesting so what would it mean for your group to win the competition i think that we would be um so very excited because <laughs> i don't think any of us ever thought that we would would have the opportunity even to be in something like involved in something like this at this point in our lives like we're all still in school and um we started off you know enrolling in the pro- in the program without any hopes at all without any expectations and i guess after the first week of having our trailer release we saw that there was a really great audience reception and after you know seeing kind of where everyone else sat in the competition and then where we sat which is right now like we're in, we're in first. Uh now we're starting to imagine or envision ourselves winning. It's not we don't want to like jinx <laughs> it or anything, but it's kind of cool that we actually even have this opportunity in the first place. So I think winning for us would be a very humbling experience or I guess like I don't know, it's hard to even fathom like having that much money to make the film. But I think most importantly what we're kind of expecting out of this is even if we don't win or even if we don't make it to the top 5 or the top 15 is that we feel like it is so possible to I guess do the things that you didn't think were possible yeah. if that makes sense mm-hmm. um cuz we've been working really hard and we've encountered a lot of challenges there's a lot of deadlines that we have to meet but we've met every single one so far and we're just uh, we're getting better and better at working together and better at producing something quality with a really short amount of time. Mm-hmm. So I think we feel like after this whatever happens uh that this was just a good experience and that we can kind of carry the knowledge that we've attained from doing this and then bring it on to the next thing whether that's producing this film through different funding avenues or or crowdfunding or even just like a different project. I think we kind of feel like we're more of a unit now and that you know it's possible to actually succeed at something. Mm-hmm. It'll be a great stepping stone for you for sure. Yeah, yeah. And it'll mean a lot especially because you're comprised of um all York students too, yeah, right? Exactly, yeah, exactly. And you're the only York um group running, right? Yeah, we are. I think there might be a group with one member who is a York alumni. Mm-hmm. I'm not totally sure, but I think that's what I heard. But we are definitely the only a uh, York group right now um that's still in school in the running and we're also some of the younger student uh younger i guess uh filmmakers yeah i mean york film students seem to be doing really well this year especially yeah. given that eric bazari who does the future yeah. of film showcase i interviewed him as well and he mentioned your name too <laughs> what was uh a challenge for you directing the trailer certainly i've never directed a feature before i have i'm i'm relatively new to the directing thing I felt like it felt very natural in some ways to direct the trailer. I guess because I had since I had written it, I had already envisioned what everything 
would look like because while I'm writing I feel like I'm in the scene like watching things as they unfold um, and sometimes I even feel like I'm each character uh, so so it feels very almost natural to be directing it because I just know like everything that's going to happen or how it should look especially when I have such a great team working with me where we all uh, function very well as a unit um, and share the same vision so that really really helps like I wouldn't be able to do that without those guys Mm -hmm. Um, but I think like one of the bigger uh, obstacles I would call it is uh, it was the time frame that we had to do everything Um, we basically we shot that in two days and it was really cold outside yeah Um, wow (laughs) it was it was very cold and because we had to get everyone like the crew and the cast together on such short notice we had to really work with uh, everyone's schedules and and basically uh, make a lot of sacrifices. So both nights, I think we shot like we went pretty late into the night because so and so weren't able to be there until like eight, and we were in the Six Nations Reserve, uh, so it was like an hour or two hours away from Toronto, mm-hmm. and it was really cold. Like the second night was minus like thirty eight or something. My and, goodness. Yeah. <laughs> So we basically, like, would shoot a scene or shoot even, not even a scene, but, like, a take of something and then usher the actors into the house where they could warm up because (laughs) you couldn't be outside for longer than five minutes uh, with, like, your hands or your face exposed because you would just, it would be too cold. Um, And we didn't have, we oh, it's another thing, we didn't have money, so we couldn't couldn't warm people up with space heaters or or, um, gas uh, heaters or anything, like, which we had for other films. If we were doing them outside, we would make sure we had that and hot paws, but we didn't have any money, so so it was just, like, shoot this and then get them inside quickly, Um, and and that's kind of how we had to do it for the second day. But definitely, I think that uh, overall, shooting the trailer was... It was kind of exciting because we didn't really know what we were getting into. So we we threw it together. I mean, but we had to, I guess, arrange it in a way that would work within a 60 second trailer. And we shot so much that getting it down to 60 seconds was the biggest challenge <laughs> um, because we had two full scenes from the film shot and we had so much stuff that we all really liked. And so it was just like cutting and cutting away and cutting until we had just 60 seconds of something yeah it was worth it though for sure i watched the trailer and it looks so professional (laughs) and where can people vote and find out more information so they can go online at uh, www.cinecoo.com slash phantom hyphen film okay that's perfect so thank you so much erica for taking the time to speak with me today thank you so much